Hey guys, welcome back to Bronson's Math Club. Today's topic is addition and subtraction operations of integers. So in this topic, I'm going to be starting out with different problems and I'm going to be adding them and subtracting them with their integers. Okay, so let's start off by um, doing this problem here. And the problem is positive 9 and positive 3. Okay, and then so let's read step number 1. It says that if the numbers have the same signs, and the, then the operation is addition and the sign will remain the same so we do have the same sign which is a positive sign and another positive sign so what we're going to be doing is addition so I'm just going to go ahead and write number 9 and number 3 and I'm going to add these two numbers so 9 plus 3 is 12 and, uh, and then all, uh, the step also says that the sign will remain the same right so I'm just going to go ahead and take the same sign so positive 9 and positive 3 right so I'm just going to go and take the positive sign so positive 9 and positive 3 is equal to positive 12 okay so now let's do another example so now we have the example negative 2 and negative 5 okay so what we, uh, we do still have the same signs okay and the uh, operation is still going to be addition okay so I'm just going to go and write number 2 and number 5 and I'm going to add these two numbers so 2 plus 5 is 7 and the and all the step also said that the sign will remain the same right so I'm just going to bring the negative sign down into our answer so negative 2 and negative 5 equal um negative 7 I'm sorry I wrote positive 7 over here should be negative 7 okay so now let's do another problem so now uh, let's say we have the problem positive 11 and negative 7 okay so but now let's look at step, step number 2 it says that if the numbers have different signs so in this problem positive 11 negative 7 we do have different signs then the operation is subtraction so now they're telling us to subtract okay and the sign of the bigger number will go in the answer okay so let's just go ahead and subtract 11 and 7 so 11 minus 7 is 4 and the sign of the bigger number bigger number will go in the answer okay so the bigger number is the number 11 so uh, and it has a positive sign in front of it so I'm just gonna write positive 4 so positive 11 and negative 7 is equal to positive 4 okay so now let's do another example so now let's say we have the example negative 12 and positive 2 so we still do have different signs. We have a negative sign and we have a positive sign. And the, so this uh, operation is still going to be subtraction. So let me just go ahead and write these two numbers down. 12 and 2 and I'm going to subtract these two numbers. So we, I know that 12 minus 2 is 10, right? And the sign of the bigger number will go in the answer. So the bigger number is the number 12 and it has a negative sign in front of it. So I'm just going to go write the negative sign in my answer. So negative 12 and positive 2 is equal to negative 10. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to tell you guys what's really happening behind the scenes. Okay. So I'm going to draw a number line. So let me just go ahead and draw this number line over here. And it'll just take me a second to number the number line. Okay, so we have zero in the middle, and then we have the whole numbers going out to the uh, right side. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we have the negative numbers going on to the left side. And so we have negative one, negative two, negative three and then we have negative four okay so now let's say we have the problem positive three minus two so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting at the point of positive three okay so i'm going to be starting over here and then i'm going to be subtracting two so i'm going to be going back two spaces right so i'm going to be t taking from positive three and i'm going to be one space second space so I'm gonna land on one right so now we know that positive 3 my, my negative 2 is equal to 1 
Okay, so did you guys see what happened? Is that I started on uh, positive three and then I went back to spaces. Okay, so this is what's really happening behind the scenes. And if you guys like the number line way better, then I hope I actually recommend to you to do that until you don't learn the um the the way without the number line. And so um stick around for more videos and visit our website at www.bronsismathclub.com and we'll see you guys next time bye